No bitch. Yeah, obviously. Collectively. <laughs> Collectively. <laughs> We're not. We're not. Except for the one, but hey. <laughs> Yeah, it's blocked anyway. But Ooh. hey, so we're gonna go right, we're gonna go right into this uh, winner semi smash. We got Sinji and Stocktaker. I mean, Stocktaker is just going off. He's been showing it with Villager. He's been feeling a lot <laughs> more confident with the game. Oh, oh some, some happened. Some happened. Okay. This man stood up immediately. He was like, slow down. Okay. Disconnect the controller. Everything's working. They're all good into it. They're going to go right into it. Doesn't look like they're going to restart the match. Okay, so we're going to continue on with game one here. Uh, as I was going to say, Stocktaker has been feeling a lot more confident with his uh, Villager play. The fact that he's supplementing Villager with Wii Fit Trainer has sort of like breathed life into his play. He's feeling a lot more of uh, Ultimate. Although he's also come to terms with the fact that like, regardless of all of the nonsense, he, he liked Smash 4 a lot. And now he's just playing a different game. He sort of had to go through the five stages of grief now that I think about it. Yeah, I, I think a lot of people kind of over exaggerated near the end of Smash 4 because they were done with it. But a lot of people, you know, enjoyed it at the end of the day. Only reason we kept playing it for so long. But, uh, yeah, it is a good game. But, uh, with that being said, we are playing Ultimate. And both of these characters are probably better than their previous iterations, especially Pac Man. No, yeah, they've, they've both seen. Interesting buffs. Where Pac-Man, a lot of his combo game has changed, and the way that Sinji has to lay out his traps is different. Uh, Villager, it's sort of like, they've condensed what the character's doing. Like, Nair's still really good. You know you're gonna go for spiking with down air. They've just gone ahead and just given that to all the turn-ups. It's not just a three turn-up. I don't know what just happened, but <laughs> Sakura got sent off <laughs> of the platform. And then got orange to death, but I, I, I honestly don't know how that happened. Yeah, that's a setup. This man just parried both hits of the key so he could sit there and wait for the axe. Yeah, you, you got hit by that. I don't know how you got hit by that. You got hit by that. You gotta hold that. They managed to make the uh, the slingshot moves better. Forward air and back air deal more damage. That's OD. Yeah, don't you, know why they did that. Yeah, yeah, you ever reflect it like point blank and they just like villager just explodes at like 80? Oh, I've been the villager. I, I've exploded before. Oh. Sorry about that. But, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they buffed that significantly. Um, On top of that, Axe is a legitimate out of shield option. And it's something to watch out for with Stocktaker. If the tree is up and he's looking to get Sinji off of him. He's done uh, jump V reverse Axe, and it's covered so much space. And it's so violent of an option out of shield. Because, like, yeah, the pellets are whatever, but they're not always going to kill. They're not. They're really just a harassment tool that happens to kill. Yeah. Axe? Axe is killing you. You know, it's just funny watching Sinji be aggressive. Because um, Sinji right now, he's chasing Stocktaker. He's not taking He's not taking the setup camp route. He wants Stocktaker done. And uh, I think that is good. That's some good adaptation from Sinji. Uh, because he knows Villager can also play the long range game. And maybe even better than Pac-Man. Yeah, Villager, I can safely say, can hold the zone stronger than uh, than Pac-Man. And even though Pac-Man has unconventional tools, at the end of the day, they don't do that much. They hold, like, set pieces, and Sinji just has to lay the traps for confirming his kills. Villager, though, is always moving, constant projectile pressure, and is able to zone out of those, uh, those areas where he locks down very effectively. So, interesting, interesting interaction with the Orange and the Lloyd Rocket. It seemed like the Lloyd Rocket went through the orange and still hit Stocktaker. So, um, yep. something to note. Yeah, um, orange doesn't care about any of the uh, projectiles that Villager can set up. Orange is really good at this matchup. That being said, uh, Sinji taking that second stop. And just to clarify, uh, is... So, armor on the side B for Pac-Man, lit. Let's go. Bowling ball, even more lit. I mess with it. Oh dear. Excuse. Y'all <laughs> gotta remember, this is still Sinji we're talking about, man. Yeah, yo, Sinji just tacking on the percent in this game. He did a solid 50 percent right off that one interaction. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, bonus fruit, even if it's pocketed, he could spawn another one. You can have a maximum of two on the screen, and the reason being is because if Villager holds the bonus fruit out, he can't spawn it again. If it's in his pocket, it's technically not on screen, which is the only parameter needed for uh, Pac-Man to bring out a second one. Yeah. At least there's some shenanigans, let me tell you. Yeah, in previous games, um, 
he was he wasn't allowed to do that no matter where it was in his pocket. So he had to kind of hold that until Villager died, or he just forgot about it in the pocket and went away. We caught that apple. Yeah, catching the bonus fruit is the best thing that Villager can do, because even though, like I just explained like why it's important to keep uh, bonus fruit in the pocket, just for the sake of having it, it's more important to be able to take away uh, Hydrant consistently. Whether or not you use Hydrant or you're just denying uh, Sinji Hydrant, super good. Oh, okay, I thought he was going to come down with the axe. Oh, oh, but the apple bounced! Where did it come from, though? <laughs> he, threw the the apple, he threw the apple down. Oh, no. Okay, for a moment, I thought it was a, the water of a hydrant, but he, yeah. No, it hit the Lloyd. It hit Lloyd and it bounced. It hit the Lloyd oh. and bounced up. Yes, that is beautiful. Can we, that needs to go on the archives. That's, can, we, can, we, can we put that on Twitter? That's wacky. I need, I need to tell my family about that one. <laughs> that was, oh, my God. That was beautiful. That's OD. I. Right. <laughs> Let's yeah. let's see it again. It's so Village of the Pac Man. And this time we're going to yeah. Town and City. Okay. Yeah, Town and City. So uh, the difference between Town and City in this game is that the blast zones are bigger on in this iteration. Yeah, the stage bigger upwards. Thing. Yeah, bigger upwards. So I can understand why Stock Taker want to go to the stage. You know, he got a little bit, little bit, little bit longer off the top, where Pac Man's tend to combo. And um, also, can, he, he can kill horizontally a little less. I mean, a little easier. Excuse me. It's up already. Let's go to 2000. All right. So, once again, catching the apple. Although, Stocktaker hasn't really gotten anything started too heavily here. I want to see more neutral airs out of him. Neutral air has traditionally been a really good way to just pressure Pac Man when you're super close in. You don't have to rely too heavily on fairs and bears, but. It's yeah. just constant uh, combo breaking. Yeah, and the way Sinji is using this calculated aggression now, um, in game one, he was kind of just hunting down Villager. Now his hunting is more calculated. He's doing less of just jumping into Villager and more of setting up his Hydrant and then jumping into Villager, which is a big difference than what he was doing before. Oh, and God. The Hydrant is oh, everything. Sinji's on. <laughs> you get him out of there. Yeah. Alleviate all the pressure. You know what? I don't want to deal with this right now. <laughs> There's too many on the screen. This is crazy. <laughs> Did the game just lie? Because they're like. They're, they're, they're might have actually. Oh my god. That was, that was some stuff. This game does not want to see this battle. Uh, I barely want to see it. But you go to stuff by Sinji. Uh oh. Yeah, he's just racking on this damage, and Stock Taker, he needs, to, he needs to find a game plan that works, because the range game doesn't work for him anymore, because Sinji has adapted to it. Because he knows he's hanging back a little bit more, and he's not running into a lot of things like he was in game one. Let's see what, let's see what, let's see what Stock Taker does to kind of counteract this. Yeah, I kind of want to see a bit more traditional Stock Taker play, where he's going to force the zone, go in for more of the close range battles. He's got the bell in hand, see how that comes into it. That pocket is wild. It has a really big range. He's got big range. And, oh, and he came out of shield with a triple turn up up there. Uh, He's looking for an opportunity to yeah, I knew I was gonna drop happen. behind. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. On that, 89%. Stock's still got a bit of work ahead of him, but now it's not too bad. Yeah, and, and since you just shielded that whole tree. I don't know if Stock knows, but you can pocket Fire Hydrant as it's flying at you. And it comes back as like a Fire Hydrant that you can drop. Yeah, but it just seems like whenever he pockets the Hydrant anyway, he already has a he already has a Hydrant in the pocket. So whenever Hydrant's flying at him, I don't think he's really thinking of that option. But, you know, good stuff. Coming off from Sydney, just like... Keeping this lead, keeping Villager away from him, which isn't, which isn't very easy. Villager's, Villager's in a weird place right now because a lot of people are like underselling what the character can do. But then you see when he's like boiled down, um, he's like, a lot of his tools work really well for where the meta sits right now. In fairness, this is just a very strange matchup. The way that Villager can duel it out with Pac-Man. Like, they both have really good close-in tools. They both have 
as you can plainly see from this set, very good zoning tools. Um, but it's a matter of how they match out each other, and I feel like Sinji just has a better grasp of what to do here than Stop Taker. Yeah, and it just... Right now, it just seems like, you know... Stock Taker is Stock just searching right now. Searching for an answer, and he... Yeah, that backer is kind of strong. Oh, that... Yeah, that's gonna kill. All right. Yeah. Stock Taker's out of it, but he's gonna be alive in the loser's bracket as Sinji is going to advance to fight the winner of Ling Ling and Odyssey. And that means that... Ooh, that means that... Uh, Stock Taker's gonna have to fight Jen, I think. 